it just about stage as long as both the players agree to it, but nobody really likes to go, nobody really likes to fight on uh, Great Game Offensive. And right, not, right. Uh, that meta hasn't really happened yet, but here we go. ZSS here, baby. Mike. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Smashville is the first stage. Let's get it, Larry. So these, this is a matchup of two characters that have fallen off uh, tremendously in the meta since they have been incepted. I mean, Zero Suit's been nerfed a couple times. Ike has been reworked, so his Nair's not supposed to combo as well, even though it combos just about as well, and he has a lot of other buffs. And frankly, I feel like Ike's still one of those undertapped characters in the meta. Yeah, Ike is definitely an interesting one to place for sure. You know, I was always of the philosophy that mobility was more important than power in a platform fighter. But you have all sorts of Ike players, you know, such as like Raven King, Mega, and of course we got Nagato out here showing you what the character can do for sure. It's the kind of thing where like your placement, ironically enough, becomes so, so much more important, specifically because of your lack of mobility, especially against a character like DSS. Right, but then again, that doesn't mean Ike's got nothing. He has very, very safe area. And of course, that up B, which was recently buffed, and it is going to be killing a lot more effectively than it used to. And it's got super armor. It, it, it's damn near uncontestable. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good your mobility is, you're not going to be able to press buttons on that if the iframes of that come out at the beginning. As a whip grab is going to lead to a clean grab by Nagato here, who is firmly taking the lead throughout this set so far and regaining stage control right here in the center. Just pretty much making Yugen the one that we forced to approach. Yeah, and I love his empty hop there a second ago when Yugen was trying to recover. Force Yugen to air dodge high in order to make it back. And right now, he's just tearing the Yugen apart. Yugen whipping, hitting dead space. And it's just getting freed up by all these massively strong areas. Yeah, you you can go for a hard read below the platform with that forward smash. Easy punish for the job, though. And Come a on, no. Spot Dodge Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Baby with the Spot Dodge canceling immediate giant hitbox right there, and they've got them all over Yugen in this first game. Yeah, for a character like Zero Suit, who has a pretty pathetic grab already, like Spot Dodge is a death sentence, as it, you know, our boy Negato is oh, showing us. Okay. Oh. I mean, look, they, they didn't want to have to drift the whole way back, because if they got a hit by a sword, they didn't have down to make it back to Legend. So I can kind of, kind of understand the mess up there a little bit, but still, that's a... Really good first game for Nagato. As I do believe Lyric said just a few hours ago, it's like you love to watch like the high level smash, get as much as we can out of analyzing, but then sometimes you just mess up. And I and I agree with you. I don't want to necessarily say that that's what they did right there. Perhaps they just like, you know, misinputted a, uh, misinputed a flip kick in yeah. the other direction, just didn't have the uh, air drift to be able to make it back. That is the unfortunate thing with CSS if you do not utilize that flip kick in the proper ways. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just moments like these, you just gotta shake it off. You know, you gotta leave the past in the past. The more you think about that moment, the more it sticks with you as we head into game number two with the same characters. Yeah, so we, we really just gotta hope that you can, can kind of shrug that one off, you know, laugh it off a little bit and get back to work. Now, you can't ever count Zero Suit out of any match. Obviously, they have that, that Nair, which is a true combo into Flip Kick at certain percentages, especially because they have a character like Ike where that percent window is much, much higher than it usually is. Mm-hmm, for sure, for sure. Not to mention, not to mention these platforms can make landings so much more linear in a game where, like, you really need to focus on, like, your best possible ways to get out of disadvantage. Big Sword like Ike, despite this not being his counterfeit, uh, Nagato, they will definitely be able to swing up through those platforms nice and easy. I don't know if you've ever seen that up-air hitbox layer, and I'm pretty sure you have. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's strong. It's got no sour spots on any part of it. It is is quite a strong move, and is one of Ike's best for sure. Definitely a matchup where you gotta like utilize flip kick to the best of your ability to play a little bit oh. more of a keep away game. Saw what they were going for there with the down smash paralyzer into the new player. Probably trying to set up a flip kick, but nothing doing messes up the jab block that time around, and the dash attack will do it. Yeah, uh, dash attack, one of the moves on Ike's kit that has been recently buffed. And another thing, right now it seems like Yugen's doing a good job of, of trying to get their mix down properly. A lot better job than they were doing it last time. Uh, and I think they're going for a lot more Zare pressure, which is really good against Sorties. I think that's one of the things that put Zero Suit over many of them in this game. Yeah, that mobility is just so crucial for being able to go around giant hitboxes like that. You don't have a good way to really work around the Sorties in this game. You know, your Ikes, you know, your Aegis, you know, your Violets, your Clouds. So you're definitely going to have a bad time. Good wake up boost kick, though. That'll be the stop. Yeah, and despite that big box that's uh, Battlefield, I think Battlefield is the largest box in the whole game. 
uh, you know, it's the furthest away from any of the flash arms, I think. But, you know, that flip kick, or sorry, that boost kick is still gonna be killing ridiculously early. Like, it's a character like Ike, so that move is a little bit OD. No, for sure, for sure. That power is definitely gonna be clutch on the big, big flash zones like this, especially towards the horizontal and diagonal corners, for sure. I, what I really want to see a little bit more from Yugen, I want to see them, I want to see them just run in to Nagato a little bit less. You have a super quick, intangible move in Flip Kick that Ike is going to have a hard time to sort of keeping up with. You got to play these matchups, my friend. You know, you got to take advantage of the lack of mobility or the lack of projectiles for sure. And right now, I'm seeing Yugen just really fight in the beef with Nagato a lot more than they have to. You can really force Ike to be the one to be in a position to be the one where it's hard for them to approach. And we're not really seeing that too much from Yugen, as Yugen's going to drop down essentially their last, uh, I believe, winner's bracket stock. Yeah. Uh, and another thing, too, that I, I feel like Nagata's playing really well, they're holding center ridiculously well. It doesn't ever feel like Yugen has a solid holding on the uh, center of the stage. And right now they do, but again, it's whips like those that are going to allow Nagata to get back to the ground and give himself a lot of room and a lot of ability to just kind of hunker down and prevent Yugen from coming in. I actually love the usage of Yugen right there, just like trying to use it as an offensive tool, but knowing just by the spacing that they'd be able to retreat to the top platform, and that all Yugen was going to be able to get there was that up air, because Boost Kick would have been way too committal in that situation. It was very good on the Yato to recognize that. Yeah, speaking of committal options, though, a lot of spaghetti from Yugen at the ledge, but a nice raw upbeat from center stage. No setup required. That's going to be killing off the side. They're at 69%, but then again, this is Zero Suit Sam you're talking about. They can even this thing up right quick. Or Absolutely. possibly even win the game. Yeah, you know, it's true. Just takes a couple of good grabs, a couple of good tech reads, or give <laughs> Oh my god, you can go in for absolutely broke right there. Trying to end this stock immediately for Nagato right here. It's going to be forced to play neutral with them again. I got to say, Yugen is playing a little bit more carefully this time around. Running in with shields, a lot more calculated in these grabs. A lot of short hop forward airs that I am seeing from Yugen over and over and over again. Recognizing that they're working, actually reading the roll read right there. But just unfortunately mistiming the down smash. But it won't be their downfall there. Yep, they're going to make it back to ledge with that tether side B recovery. Flip kick back on, it gives up a lot of space. I like it, baby. They're going to not catch the roll back, but they're going to roll back themselves. They got to not do it, though. They got to keep themselves pretty safe. He's on the top platform, though. I don't like that option that much. I feel like it might have been a missing clip, but we are still seeing Rift City right now. No one has a definitive advantage, and then Nagato throwing out that sword to catch the dash in on Yugen's part. Yugen not able to get the shield up in time. Nagato's going to edge them out right quick. End of that match. Very, very close game two. But it is going to go to Nagato 2-0 in the set. They advance to the next round. Winner's round two. Whereas Yugen falls down to loser's bracket. That was a really, really stressful last couple of situations there, though, bud. It was, though. I love the adaptation on the part of Yugen, though. Like, recognizing what hitboxes are safe in the neutral against Ike. Trying to go for a lot more approaching and cross-up forward airs. Short hop macro forward airs, I should say. And I don't know what that uh, paralyzer was on the platform. I don't know if they were trying to do some wacky-dacky creative uh... shit. Or if, like, the B button just, like was just looked more appetizing.